All right, AI fans, welcome back. And into this video, I am going to show you, if you don't already know, how to quickly pass the AI scan or detection. Now, the problem with this, everybody's going on and on and on, and the big war is debating right now whether or not Google is going to punish you if you're using AI-generated content. Now, I think it kind of goes without saying, it's probably a bad idea to just have ChatGPT write all your articles and just copy and paste them onto a website because it's gonna be fairly generic content that's not gonna have a lot of human touch to it or experience, et cetera. It's possible that it's just not gonna rank well because it's not interesting and it reads very uh, robotic. Now there's some types of text that I think that is good when you're doing things like listicles and so forth, but other content's probably not gonna do so well with that. So just take that uh, with a grain of salt. So if you're gonna do this, let's say we're gonna write, I'm gonna use an article right over here. I wrote an article about the top five benefits of using a VPN, that's a virtual private network. And you can see that it ripped out this little mini content. Uh, so we can grab this and you can go over to a tool. There's a few of them out there that are available right now, but one of the uh, ones that are more well known is originality.ai and it will actually scan your content to, to read it and give it a score based upon whether or not it is, um, it detects it to be more AI-based content. There is one additional one out there. Um, I'm gonna grab it for you here and then I'm gonna stick it over here. I'm gonna open this guy up right here and it is called contentscale.ai um, and it's at forward slash AI-content-detector. I'll include the link below. But when you go here, it will scan a bit of your content, not the whole thing, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop back over here to Originality AI, but I'll look at that here in a second. So I put the content in here, and this is a paid tool, okay? I think you get a few of them for free, but is it worth it? Well, if you're gonna be generating a lot of this type of content, it's probably a good idea to use it. It will detect AI, but it will also use, go for a plagiarism check, there are some free plagiarism checkers out there, so it does cost a lot of credits to do a plagiarism check. So I'm gonna uncheck that because I really just wanna know if it's uh, detecting AI. So I'm gonna scan it. It says that it cost me about three credits to do that. Now here, it says the scan and right away, it's detecting this is about 98% AI. So that is not gonna fly if you believe that that AI generated content isn't gonna do well, because Google's gonna pick that up and say, this is AI content, it's generic. Uh, do I have anything better than this? If I do, I'm gonna rank it. If I don't, you might see this stuff rank. Okay, so that's my input on that, but you'd have to see. But you're gonna see how quickly and how easy this is to get past this AI detection score and humanize it. It is not that hard. So if you think you're just gonna automate tons of, you know, hundreds and hundreds of chat GPT articles and get a website ranked, probably not gonna happen. You're gonna have to do some manual editing, but I'll show you how easy this is. So if we take that content that we just had, right, that article, and then I'm gonna go over to a tool called Quillbot. And Quillbot, this is all over the place, people are talking about this, this is one of the easier ways to get past this. So we could pa paste that text in there, okay, and here it is. And what Quillbot will do is rephrase or rewrite uh, your content based on a number of different things. It'll, it can assess it through fluency, formal, simple, creative, expand, or shorten. So any of these are different options. And it will also use synonyms to make changes, okay? And it'll rewrite that content and we can see what that does. So these have to be played with. It depends on the content and what it is. But right now we know we got about a 98% AI score. So we're gonna go through this. I'm just gonna click on, let's say, uh, formal, okay? And then we're gonna have it rewrite it. And it's paraphrasing right now. It's gonna run through all of that content. And obviously it does a fairly good job of when you read this, it's, it's pretty good, it's just using synonyms, okay? And of course, I, I don't advocate just copy and pasting everything. You should go through this, okay? Especially you wanna create value in your website. So I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna come back over here to AI detection right? I'm going to add a new one and let's see if that changes anything. So I'm going to paste that back in here again. Make sure plagiarism check is undetected. I'm going to scan this. Okay. So that brought the score up a little bit. It's a little bit more original. Okay. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to go back over here. We're going to copy and then we're going to paste. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the cinnamon synonym. So I'm going to bring that up more and I'm going to move to creative. Okay. Let's see what it comes up with. Now I'm running through this so you can see what happens with this. 
So that article, I actually made it pretty difficult for myself, but um, because it was a very straight factual kind of article, but I did make a few changes to that. I oftentimes use more just kind of lingo and so forth, how a human being would normally speak, which is wrought with error, um, just to see if we can get those scores to improve. Now we're waiting on this to paraphrase just a couple more seconds. Let's see what it comes up with, and that way we'll get a good test. Is it all done? Looks done. So I'm gonna grab that, and we're gonna go back over here again one more time. So we're gonna go to new, we're gonna paste that in there, detect AI, plagiarize and check is off. Let's see what we get. Okay, bang. Okay, now we're at 85% original score, all right? So those of you who think that you're not, you know, if you just use chat GPT and you paste it straight across and then it's all gonna be AI and you're gonna get busted and Google's not gonna rank us, look at how easy this is to get around. I made a few changes to it and then I also ran it through Quillbot, added different synonyms in a cre uh, creative and then bang, now we're at 85% original. So at 85% original, I made very few changes to this thing, a couple of my own additions, and then I reran it through Quillbot a second time and changed the uh, mode, and now I've got original content. I can paste this on the website, and Google's gonna go, if they're using the same kind of detection modes, it's only 15% AI, AI over here, people. So if you're producing a lot of content and you're using ChatGPT, you're using Jasper, you're using any of these things, do yourself a favor. Number one, get Quillbot because you just saw what this did. And then get yourself in uh, a mini subscription here to Originality AI. I do wanna show you this real quick too. If you come over here and you use that free AI detector and I click on it there, okay? It's not gonna give me all of this. I don't get to use all of it, but I'm gonna check for AI content. Oh, it says up to 2,500 characters are gonna be used, okay? So it's already got me at 90, 98% fake, which we kind of already knew, right? So let's look at the, where's my newest article? Um, I think it was that one I had over here, right? Oh, there we go. Grab, okay. Let's see what it says about my article. So I'm gonna paste that in there and let's see what it says. All right, so same thing, just running it through Quillbot. Look at this, it's got a 95% human content score. So people don't worry about this, okay? Get yourself an AI detector Okay, and get yourself Quillbot, and you're gonna be just fine creating massive content for your success. Thank you so much for watching this. Make sure you thumbs up, make sure you comment below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll get some more videos out there to show you how to capitalize on this AI um, technology. Thanks for watching.